So goalkeeper shirts have undergone a little bit of a uh, funky renaissance recently, haven't they? Uh, this clearly being one of the kind of goalkeeper kits of the year, isn't it? Uh, but actually, there was another one released in the 2021 lineup uh, that had it been released over here in the UK, it might have pushed this one for its crown. Uh, so today I'm chatting shirt about the 2020 Umbro Fluminense goalkeeper shirt. Oh yeah, we're all thinking it, aren't we? We'll get onto that in a second. Let's have a look at some of the beautiful details on it. First, the heat pressed badge is absolutely delightful. A lot like the Bristol City one that I've got on here, it just feels really chunky, really slick on it. I am grooving on this oversized Umbro logo. Heat pressed on as well, not stitched, with that fantastic chunky outline. When we move on to the back, it's got the really nice air holes in the back of it, as well as two beautiful little crests. The first is celebrating Fluminense's formation with a little Umbro crest in there. And the second one, just at the bottom there, is a 50th anniversary patch of the first time that Fluminense won the league championship. But when we look at the patterning on the front of this shirt, we all think of one person, don't we? All together now, one, two, three. Peter Schmeichel. What do you mean you didn't say Peter Schmeichel? Of course it's Peter Schmeichel. Yes, looking at this, it just reminds you of Peter Schmeichel in the 90s, big green Umbro shirt, and this modern retake on it is absolutely glorious. Playing around with Fluminense's rich maroon color and a slightly lighter kind of light teal, would you call it? It's echoing that iconic Umbro design. But the thing that gets me is, why wasn't this the Umbro goalkeeping template worldwide this year? It seems to have only been released over in South America for Gremio, Fluminense, and Santos. But actually, I think they've missed a trick at not having this in like the English league as well, where obviously there would be lots and lots rich 90s references. I'm sure this was the goalkeeper shirt for some other Umbro teams in the 90s as well. The only thing I can think is that it might contravene some rules on kind of patterning on goalkeeper shirts and it clashing. A big thank you to the amazing football journalist Phil Dells for helping me get hold of this. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm just going to go out into the back garden and play a little bit of football where I can feel like number one. <laughs>